more money for the U.S. Postal Service and mail-in balloting. Yeah. If the Democrats were to give you some of what you want, which you articulated in a series of tweets in the last yeah. hour, would you be willing to accept the $25 billion for the Postal Service, including the $3.5 billion to sure, general mail-in they give mail us what we want. And it's not what I want, it's what the American people want. So in addition to... And I just, I think, John, as part of your answer, I can read this. But in addition to uh, the executive orders that we signed, which are going to be doing terrific things in terms of uh, payroll tax cut, which is a lot of money coming to a lot of people very quickly, I've directed the Secretary of the Treasury to get ready and send direct payments, 3400 for a family of four to all Americans. Democrats are holding this up. I am ready to have uh, the UST and SBA send additional PPP payments to small businesses that have been hurt by the China virus. Democrats are holding this up. So we're talking about those are two things directly involved and really victim of the China virus. We're ready to send. Democrats are holding up. I'm ready to send rental assistance payments to hardworking Americans that have been hurt by the China virus. All of these things are in a list. Democrats are holding this up. I'm ready to send $105 billion to the states to help open schools safely with additional PPPE. And uh, Democrats are holding this up. So. That's $105 billion to the states to help open schools safely with additional PPE. Democrats are holding that up, right? And I'm ready to send more money to states and local governments to save jobs of our great police, our firefighters, our first responders, and teachers. It's all ready to go. Democrats are holding it up. So they're holding, John, all of that up. So if they were to give you that, yeah, you would they sign would off on the money for the Postal yeah, Service? Yeah, but they're not giving it to me. They're giving it to the American people. I mean, but giving it to... agree to that? Yeah. I would, I would certainly do that, sure. I would do that. Yeah. 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 I just want to follow up on that and then a, a quick question. Just when you said that you've directed Secretary Mnuchin to, to ready direct payments, are you are you speaking about something you're going to do independently or that you're just waiting for the legislature? Well, I'm waiting package? for the Democrats to approve it. Okay. okay. And then I want to ask you, um, you congratulated Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greene in a tweet. You called her a future Republican star. Um, Greene has been a proponent of the QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, she said that's something that should be would be worth listening to. Um, do you agree with her on that? Well, she did very well in the election. She won by a lot. She was very popular. Uh, she comes from a great state, and she uh, had a tremendous victory. So, absolutely, I did congratulate her. Please, go ahead. Really on QAnon and her decision to embrace that, that conspiracy theory. Do you agree with her on that? That was the question? Go ahead, please. I just wanted to ask you, um, what ails your brother Robert, and how's he doing? Yeah. Uh, I have a wonderful brother. We've had a great relationship uh, for a long time, for from day one. It's a long time ago. And uh, he's in the hospital right now. And, Hopefully, he'll be all right, but he's he's pretty uh, he's having a hard time. I wanted to ask you also really quickly about um, Putin's invitation to join a video summit with Iran and other world powers. Would you accept that invitation? I haven't been told of it yet. I heard there's something, but I haven't been told of it yet. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, two questions on vaccines. First, once a vaccine is ready, who should get it first? Uh, I will rely on the doctors to tell me that. I would say probably the elderly. I would say nursing homes. Um, a lot of people said, would you take it? I said, I'll take it if they want, or I'll go first or last. I'll do whatever they want me to do. But I would think that the elderly, the people that are most vulnerable to the disease, and we're actually making those lists right now, uh, mostly uh, nursing homes and retirement centers. Yeah. Uh, Russia has approved the vaccine. What do you know about the vaccine? Have you spoken to Russian officials about it? We don't know uh, much about it. Uh, we hope it works. We do. We hope it works. Uh, they've cut off certain trials, and we just feel it's important to go through the, the process. We have numerous uh, different vaccines that we think are going to work, but we want to go through a system of trials. We're very advanced. We're very uh, — uh, We'll be announcing something in the not-too-distant future, also with therapeutics, which I think are very, very important. Yeah, please. Thanks, Mr. President. I had two, one on China and then one on oil. The first one on China, 
Uh, there's a lot of alarm among American companies about your order on WeChat, Apple, Ford, Disney. They're worried because it's such a big communications platform and a payment platform in China that if you ban U.S. businesses from working with them, that they won't be able to sell, you know, iPhones into China or, or similar markets. Whatever. So you don't mind if, if this... We're going to do what's good in terms of the security of our country. So we've, been, we've been is, very badly let down by China. What's your next question? On oil, uh, the U.S. this week seized four Iranian right. oil tankers going t towards Venezuela. Yeah, what's wondering, supposed to do that? Yeah, they're they're going to go to Houston. I'm wondering what you're going to do with that oil and if this is We'll be announcing we have four tankers. They're going to Houston, and uh, they're there. Uh, we They're not supposed to be doing that. Iran's not supposed to be doing that. And uh, so we did. We seized the tankers, and we're moving them and moved to Houston. Mr. Yeah. President, thank you so much. Two questions, if you don't mind, Mr. President. First of all, Kamala Harris, you've been very blunt about how you feel about her mean, nasty, mad woman. Biden now saying... No, I, I haven't been blunt. I said she treated Joe Biden worse than anybody else. I watched those debates. They were very boring, but they were debates nevertheless. And I watched, you know, pretty good parts of them. And she treated Biden worse than anybody else by far. There was nobody, including Pocahontas. Nobody treated Biden so badly as Kamala. Ask you this then: Do you have an issue with a strong woman of color being in this presidential race? Do none you see? Whatsoever. You don't see her as, as a threat, you, as you know. None whatsoever. No, nope, not at all. Thank you, Mr. President. And a stimulus question, if you don't mind. You have told me even before you were president, you always talked about being the ultimate deal maker. Why not just sit down with Democrats personally and cut a deal? Because they want one trillion dollars to go to their friends doing a bad job running certain cities and states that are doing very badly. You know, most of our country is running very well. Even in terms of crime, most of our country is setting records in terms of low. But when you look at Chicago, when you look at what's going on in Illinois and uh, New York and uh, other places, uh, both economically and in other ways, it's horrible. It's horrible. Look at Oregon. Look what's going on in Oregon. They have — I don't think they have a clue. We could stop that. If they would request it, we would stop that problem in one hour, like we did in Minneapolis. We would stop it in one hour. It would be over. It's so easy to do. All right, please, go ahead. In the back, please. Uh, Alicia Powell at the Gateway Pundit. Uh, yesterday, you announced a historic peace deal between the Israel and the United Arab Emirates. And later in the day, Joe Biden tried to take credit for I heard that. That was a beauty. Yeah. What's right. your response? We announced a deal. And I appreciate it. Even the New York Times gave it great coverage and editorials today. Uh, Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, everybody was saying, great. And uh, this is something we've been working very hard on. And I saw where Sleepy Joe tried to claim credit for it. And I'm trying to figure out how that one works. No, what he did is they made a terrible deal with Iran. And the deal was a horror show, and I ended it. They gave him $150 billion for nothing. They gave him $1.8 billion in cash for nothing. They got nothing from that deal except trouble. Uh, they did nothing. Uh, they're just like they've been weak on China. They've been weak on Russia. They've been weak on everyone. And they were the weakest of all on Iran. Uh, no, that was a great deal made by very talented people that work with me. And it's been praised all over the world. And what you'll see now is other countries will come into that deal, and you'll have peace in the Middle East. And Biden doesn't even know — he doesn't even know the name of the countries I'm talking about. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. All right. President Trump wrapping up the news conference there, talking about Joe Biden, talking about Kamala Harris, and also giving an 